last time on Kiona's elimination, back to square one. It was Candace who got eliminated, and the challenge was to find the specific animal you get from the hat and turn it into the cage. Katie had to look for the garter snake, which we thought was called garden snake. Larry had to look for the porcupine. Byron had to look for the mole. Rory had to look for the deer. And I know had to look for the chipmunk. While I know mentions that she is looking for chipmunks, the three singing chipmunks who came to this island, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, was surprised to hear I know looking for chipmunks, which excited them enough to come down from the tree to meet I know. I know was thrilled to meet Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, and they even agreed to sign each other's autographs and maybe do a collab one day etc. Speaking of autographs, Alvin, Simon and Theodore were looking for me and Paige so they would get their autograph from myself and Paige. After Paige and I set the cage up and set up the feast for the person who wins immunity in the animal catching challenge, I know was the first to show up with her animal, which happens to be the singing chipmunks Alvin, Simon and Theodore. The chipmunks just wanted an autograph from us so we decided to write an autograph for them as long as me and Paige get an autograph from the chipmunks as well. Anyways, the one who won immunity was I and no since she brought in her animal first, even though it was Alvin, Simon and Theodore. Not only that, she also earned herself a feast and we allowed the chipmunks to join in with her. Rory and Katie managed to bring the garter snake and deer into the cage, while Larry brought the porcupine into the cage even though it got him quilled, at least it didn't hurt him a lot. Larry just being Larry, and as for Byron, he was the only one who failed to catch the mole and decided to give up on the challenge. Who will be eliminated next? Find out right now on Hyona's Elimination. Back to square one. Now that there are five of you left, that means I have four marshmallows, while one of you won't get one and take off on the floating umbrella of shame, so here we go. I know, for winning immunity, you deserve the first marshmallow. Now the second marshmallow will go to... Rourke. Good news Katie, you get yourself the third marshmallow. Larry and Byron, I have the final marshmallow in my hand, so this final marshmallow belongs to... Larry. Oh no. Not again. It's okay son, I'm kinda done with doing challenges anyways. I need you to know this. You're the only Snell's gym leader left, and you're also mine the rest of the other Snell's gym leaders only hope. At least we got to continue with this father and son bonding time, but now, just keep on going, and win for me, Maylene, Ardenia, Canvas, Vodna, Fantina, and Crash Awake. You're right dad, we did have fun competing together more when you rejoined, and no worries, I will make sure to do my best to reach the finale. Actually Rourke, you are automatically advancing into the finale since you are the only Sino gym leader left in the game. Wait, really? Is this a joke? Not at all Rourke, you're actually going into the finale, because the rules state that in my high owner's elimination, the last Sino or Paldeya gym leader left will automatically advance in the final too. Wow that's great to hear Jacob and Paige. But what can I do with my immunity pass since I am advancing into the final two? We'll talk about your immunity pass tomorrow morning. Okay then. Congratulations Rory. My own son gets to advance into the finale. I'm looking forward for this moment. Same here dad. Well Byron, let's walk you to the floating umbrella of shame once again. You know, I rejoined the game, got to continue competing with my son even more, and I had a good time being on this island once more. And Rowan, I know you got this. I believe in you. And I'm so happy for you for advancing into the final two. So I'll see you in the finale. Here you go Byron, so ready when you are. Good morning my final four, I have an announcement to make, but first, Rora, I'm gonna need you to come right up here for a sec. And please take out your immunity pass as well. Now Rory, about that immunity pass of yours, since you're automatically advancing into the final two, you won't be needing that immunity pass. So I'm going to have you decide which one of the three Paldeya gym leaders you want to transfer your immunity pass to. So Rory, who do you want to give your immunity pass to, Katie? I know. Or Larry? Well, I one time played hide and seek at the fun tube during the Chuck E. Cheese challenge with someone and had a good interaction with her, and of course she cheered me up as well. 
especially when I was feeling down after my dad was captured by Null, and because of that, I'm giving the immunity pass to I am no. Thank you so much Rawark. This is so bzzzt, shocking. You're very welcome I you know, you are one of the reasons why I kept on going by cheering me up after my dad was captured, so that's why I think you deserve this immunity pass. So here you go. Oh boy, this is the greatest day of my life, now I have an immunity pass that should help me stay safe even with the most elimination votes. Best season ever. I know and Rorik, you two can now return to your places while we make an announcement. Okie dokie! Alright now, me and Paige are gonna be leaving this island to go see the finale of Bordy's character elimination to see either Philip or Kira win. And I'm putting two people in charge to host this island this time, just like we put Sunny Bridges in charge to host during the Hide and Seek challenge. And if you are wondering who are the two, they are Chuck Chudders and the Earl, because the next challenge is the Scutoony game challenge since those two host Scutoony. And oh, here they are, just in time. Hello, Jacob and Paige, we are here. Quite an interesting island that you two are hosting, nice. Thanks, now I better head off and make sure you guys take good care of our four finalists while we are gone. No worries you two, we will make sure that those four are a-okay, you both can now go to Baldi's here school to enjoy watching the finale while we host this Scut Toonie challenge. Alrighty, can't wait to see who's gonna win BCE so I can give them a reward to come see the finale of my high owner's elimination back to square one, let's go Paige. Alrighty. So final four, Jacob and Paige told us that you're off. Katie, I in no, and Larry. That's correct Amongo Mr. Cheddars. And wow, I remember watching your show as well, and I've always wanted to compete in the Scutoony quiz show. Well I know, you're in luck. Because we are going to get this Scutoony show over and done with, so let's all head to the auditorium. Alrighty, I in no, Katie, Rock, and Larry. We are gonna play only one Scatoony quiz challenge and it will be called Bang On or Burgess. As Jacob and Paige informed us, whoever scores the most points in this Bang On or Bogus Scatoony challenge will win immunity. Now you see the red buttons in front of you? Whenever I ask the Bang On or Bogus question, you must try to press the button to be able to answer the question, whoever presses it the fastest will get to answer. If you answer it correctly, you will earn a point, but if you get it wrong, you don't earn a point. So now let's get started. So remember, the one with the most points wins immunity. Anyways, here's the first question, Caillou is the first contestant to be eliminated in Baldi's character elimination. Larry? Bogus. What? Bogus. Oh Larry, time's up, the answer was bogus. Now next question, Kofu is the first person to discover a way to stun and damage Null. I in no? Bang on. That is correct I in no. Baldi gave Stewie Griffin detention for making an attempt to cheat in Baldi's character elimination by time travel. Rock. Um, would it That's be bang correct. Maylene is the last contestant to be eliminated before the merge. I in no. That's bogus, because Maylene was actually the first eliminated during the merge. Rhyme is the last one eliminated before the merge. Correct. Jeffy was the first victim to get captured by Null. Katie? Bang on. You got that right, Katie. Brassius got eliminated for trying to cheat by painting his eyelids. Larry? Bang on. Sorry, time's up, it was bang on. Charlie Brown made it into the finale with Philip Del Rio in Baldi's character elimination. Katie? Oh, bang on. Oh, nice try, Katie, but it's bogus. Sonny Bridges took charge of hosting High Honor's elimination during the Hide and Seek challenge. I in no? It's definitely bang on. Correct I in no. Candice was eliminated for getting distracted by a bunny rabbit. Rock. That's bogus. Correct. 
Dora is the first person that spread the news about Null. Katie? Bang on. Yes. Akane Nishimura had the most votes to join Baldi's character elimination. Larry? Bogus. Oh, Larry, you should have spoken up, but the answer was bogus. Oh, and Chud Chudders, it looks like the music has ended, which means that's the end of the Scott Tolany challenge. You are right, Earl, which means I must announce who won with the most points. Larry didn't score a single point which means he has zero points. While Rourke and Katie are tied with two points. And I in no has scored the most points with three. So as a result, you win immunity I in no. Yay. I won immunity two times in a row. Everybody's gonna be buzzing about this. And even this button is buzzing about it. Hee <laughs> hee. Alrighty, let's all head out of this auditorium and wait till Jacob and Paige come back so me and Earl will tell them everything while they were gone. Me and Paige had heard a lot of things that has happened during the Scott Tooney challenge while we were seeing Bordy's character elimination finale, especially from Chud and Earl. Larry, Chud and Earl told us that you didn't score a single point all because you wouldn't speak up when answering a question. Vote for either Katie or Larry to be eliminated. I know has won immunity while Rorik is advancing into the finale due to him being the only Sano gym leader left. So that's why you can only vote off either Katie or Larry, and make sure not to bias vote, or else your vote cannot count, so happy voting.